Okay, over here uh, at Tiny T, I have a couple of avocados. Avocados are really meant for a little bit warmer climate, although they're rated for some below freezing weathers. Uh, these two are still pretty young, so what I plan to do, we did have some freezing weather last night, and I'm hoping that it didn't kill off my plants yet. Uh, they say to protect the graft that's down below, because these are all grafted trees that produce fruit a little bit quicker. So if you look down there, you can kind of see down at the bottom where that graft mark is. Uh, usually there's a little knob down there, you can kind of see where that takes off and maybe a little bit better on this one over here it looks like. Uh, yeah this one's a little bit better, you can see the little bit of difference there. There's kind of a, a knob right there, right about above that tape at the bottom, you see that kind of nodule. That's where the graft is on these two avocados. Now these are rated like I said for some colder weather but I would planted a couple, uh, a couple of years ago and I planted them just before the cold weather and they did freeze off and didn't come back so these here I planted back in the spring so they've had a, almost a year's growth on them but uh, I'm still don't want to take a chance with them so I'm going to cover these up if they haven't already frozen so they still look pretty green but plants you know that the freeze takes a little bit longer for the killing effect uh, does that to them and you notice what the damage is so what I've done is I got a hay field back here you can see it back uh, in the distance I'll walk down there and you see a couple piles of hay that I've cut and rather than use a bunch of machinery so far I can't afford the machinery right now or I probably would have baling equipment but I've gone a cheaper route and hopefully a more uh, survival type route for long term if something would happen you can't get gasoline or get your equipment fixed is the use of a scythe and I'll get you a picture of that later just a curved instrument they used to, they started out in Europe with that and and they've done all the stuff by hand that way as you can see here in a matter of about 15 minutes I got four big piles of hay I cut this corner here so I do think this is going to be doable it isn't easy anybody tells you scythe work is easy that's not true it's a lot of work so uh, me being new this is my first time ever to use it and you can see I cut the corner here pretty well this hay field not any trouble and got quite a bit of hay now they say about every 10 minutes you probably need to sharpen it uh, just to put an edge back on with the whetstone that you carry I have all that and but I'm on my way north so I needed to just get what I could done here and so I'll be working with that and sharpening it again to cut any more here so as you can see there I got four good piles of hay and I'm gonna take that hay I'm gonna stack it around uh, those avocados to protect them from the freeze hopefully so I'm hoping this does a little bit of protection and and holds in that ground heat up around that grass so that the top part if it does freeze off at the top that it'll come back from the the graft up above the the graft line there all right so anyway this is what I got so far and hopefully this will protect my avocados eventually if these do freeze off or if they don't I'm gonna put a mini greenhouse over those and with plastic and be able to control that during the winter so they don't freeze off uh, in the future if they so kind of protect them we do get some harder freezes up here right now it's just the start here in november in texas of the freezing weather and this is near the austin area so if any of you are looking for hints and seeing what uh, other people are doing near you this is central texas uh near the austin area just uh I guess uh, east of Austin a ways and out in the country and you can see that uh, uh, what type of weather and what kind of soil and stuff that we have here and maybe what works for me will work for you too. Alright, signing out here at Tiny T. Hope you all have a good day.